last time on Uncharted, we had managed to get oh, into shit. a zombie infested bunker. Just so, so that this would is the explain, part where the game. That would explain why Naughty Dog's been having that oh. random zombie kick as of late. Yeah. So this is the part where the game kind of becomes a bit of a horror genre for no reason. Yeah. No. Interesting thing about Oop. the Uncharted games is that little spoiler for later on. Only the first two games really have supernatural stuff like this. Huh. Which I'm ha which I'm fine with because uh, not every game needs this. That's what? true. That's true. I mean, you can have supernatural elements. I just don't want supernatural enemies because they're yeah. always like overpowered well, and annoying. Well, okay, the other games do have some elements, but when it comes to enemies, only the first two games. Really have <laughs> that. Ah. But, but, but as far but as far as but as far as this game goes, I, as far as this series goes, I'm fine. They're not having to worry about these freaking lickers everywhere. Oh, okay. He he, he, hurt, he hurts him a lot more. Hurts a lot more. Yeah, again, literally, and this is on normal difficulty, mind you, two swipes will kill me. Yeah. If, if I don't give myself any time to heal. I'm assuming any other difficulty above, if they even get close to you, you're dead. Yeah, that would make sense. Movement. Pretty much. I saw movement. I am not going to have this guy sneak up on me from behind. So, what do you, what do you suppose is laced in their claws, anyway? I say pure lead. <gasps> That works. I was I was honestly just gonna say miasma or something. I fucking love I that we're say... using an MP40, by the way. Well, wasn't this? Didn't they have these back in World War Two? Yes, that's why. Oh, cool. I, Yay! So you go. Yeah, the fact that like. Oop. Yeah, we, we're using yeah, an MP40. Oh look, he's taking a little nap. Damn it, George! <laughs> I told you he wouldn't. He didn't want the surprise. I mean, I mean, it's we're, I mean, we're just like one decade away, okay, two decades away from this just basically being a Tommy gun. This is gonna <sighs> be. Uh, no, Tommy guns came first. I said two decades away. Didn't say which direction. You meant forward, though. You. Meant... No, I meant backward. I meant backward. Are you this sure? Is, I know this is a more. Yeah, I know this is a more modern Up and version. Down it's all was... around. It, World, that's World, not even... World War Two. It's not even. World Tommy War Two was. But it, but a Tommy gun was similar to this, just a small sort of submachine gun. That is true. I'm, okay, so just to make this clear, just so I can have some sort of fun. Also, by the way, this section sucks because right here is the only checkpoint I get for this section. Oh. So I just activated the generator, and now everyone's going to be ah. infinitely spawning. Infinitely spawning. Oh, so basically don't fight them. Well, uh. fight them enough so I can get so fight them enough so I can get some cover, and then I need to start running because I need to start getting into each of these different areas because the final door will not turn on unless I, I flip both power switches and each power switch is locked behind, you guessed it, another switch. You know, just uh, keep moving. That, I'm sure uh, even... I don't know why, this kind of reminds me of uh, that one Simpsons joke where uh, they, <laughs> where it's like they go into, I think it was the Quickie Mart, at, like some robbers go into there, and he presses the yeah. silent alarm, and the silent alarm literally goes... Silent alarm activated. Hmm. Oh, it's a silent alarm. Oh. Ouch. But yeah, just don't get hit twice. Don't hit twice. Don't get hit twice. Don't get hit twice. Chase him. Chase him. He's more afraid of me than I am. Oh gosh, I'm gonna uh, die. I thought that. I thought that was the case, but it turned out to be not. But then again, scared scared animals can also be violent. Yep, I got a grenade. Yeah, I know he's down there. Unfortunately, I don't think they can follow me up this ledge. Huh. Okay, cool. Oh no, he's imagine. on a ledge! And there we go, now I can run out of here. Hooray! And yes, if I died at any moment, I'd be right back to where this chapter started. Like there. Moving on. Oh. So, uh, you know, just to, make sure, just to make sure I got this, I'm just gonna start spraying and praying and hope they run away from the gunfire. Uh, and... Click. No? Oh, click. No, no, you don't. Get yeah, better keep moving. This is turning out to be a really loud... But yeah, uh, just to make say. sure I got this right, Chronologically, World War Two was like the oh, '60s man. or '70s. Things must have got I, to them. I, what well, I, and Logan, the I air, and the air, World War Two. I said that was the 1940s. No, I thought World War One was the 1940s. Nice. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> Logan failed. Uh, Logan, you failed the history class on that. Wait, so you're telling me that World, so World? 1914 to 1918 is World War One. World War Two is 1938 to 1945. Uh, hey guys, look, it's a plot. Oh. I 
I'm not gonna Look, lie. guys, I... it's a plot. All right, all right. Basically, it turns out that El Dorado statue thingy, that is what is creating these things. It creates zombies. Oh. And that's why the Spanish never were able to sail off this island because when they tried to load up on the ship, someone decided to, like, investigate it further and drove them all insane. Spaniards have unleashed hell. So, huh. all of these so all those people I've been fighting were used to be the old sailors and people My who came to this island murdered, and mutated. Leaving the task to me alone. That's huh. pretty no interesting. All that still doesn't excuse <laughs> excuse your <laughs> excuse your failure in history class. I'm sorry, Logan. But so you're telling me World War II was fought with Tommy guns? Yes. No. Tommy guns to was the 1920s. Mercy on this unholy place. Tommy guns were made in the 1920s. Yes, a more advanced version was used in World War II, oh but Tommy guns themselves were a 1920s invention. Gotcha. And anyway, as far as we're concerned with this game, the go the, the Rotel Dorado is nothing more than a zombie apocalypse. Yep, pretty much. I, ap those, uh, I apologize. Wait, Logan, I apologize. But as a history buff myself, I give you an F. And as a person who wants to be a history teacher, I give you an F minus. Cool. And as a per and as a person who sees that the only real like career for any history buff is a history teacher, I approve of your career goal. And as a person that wants to interject into this conversation for a second, like Matt already explained it, but I'm surprised how James was surprisingly passionate about how wrong Logan was. As someone who's just recently fi finished Valiant Hearts, like honestly, it's just like that news was that information was still pretty fresh. Oh yeah, did that get forward to switch? Yeah, it did. Nice. Both that and uh, Child of Light. I think I, I think it was either uh, Zero Punctuation or someone else, but someone described Valiant Hearts as basically like turning World War Two into an anime. World War One into a um, World War One into an anime. Uh, World War One into a walking simulator. Yeah. Hmm. Wait. Oh God. No. That's Valiant Hearts. My God. Yeah. The two D anime. Went. No. Z what, what am I think? What am I? What am I thinking of with the turn based uh, RTS? You're thinking of Va Va Valkyria Chronicles. Yeah. You're thinking Thank of Valkyria you. Chronicles. Thank you. That V. That V thingy that turned World War. Two, into no World War. No World War One Two. You got it right. You got it right. I thought World, World War. War II. I thought World War One. I thought World War One. <laughs> to be fair, Nazis. both games do 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 start with the letter V. Logan, you fail so <laughs> World much. World War Two. World War Two was Pearl Harbor. Yeah, World War Two, which had nothing to do with Nazis. That was the. Oh that my was God. like. What? Hold on. Yeah, if I could, if hold on, if I could interject, <laughs> if I could. Oh crap. Oh, actually, dialogue, Lucky. Well, all I was going to say real quick is, um, if I could interject real quick. Uh, Sully, what do you make of what's transpired within the past five minutes? God damn. Oh, Nate, get out of there before Elena! Ow! Punch her oh, in the gut. Oh. So, so here's the, so here's the fun little, they do explain it. Here's the fun little twist is, we can't warn them of the zombies because there's no microphone in our booth. God damn it. They just think that we're just on our own. I'm sorry for the interruption. I just wanted to, uh, thank you. For Break the window Rado. so you can talk to him. Oh, right, we broke it earlier. We have it, guns. To be fair, if, they did, if he did that, then they would just open fire at him. Oh, that is fair. They would, they would take that as a sign of offense. That is fair. So long, Nate. I would have, like, it's been fun. tried to pant- I can imagine trying to pantomime. Anyway. <laughs> to charades. Yeah. Keep smiling, asshole. I'll see you soon. And now here comes my least favorite uh, action sequence in the entire game. Oh, great. You think, Zon because, you think those Windigo thingamajigs were oh, bad enough? Because I'm going to say, this area right here is, once again, your only checkpoint for this entire action sequence. And, so first off, you have a bunch of guys showing up. I said a bunch of guys showing up, but I'm throwing grenades on there because I'm not dealing with their crap. <laughs> So, so already three to four guys will storm the room, which I'm saying, no, not today. I know you're already coming. Get out of there. Both of you. Freaking Come on. Guys. Just blow it up. And I need to, like, throw the grenade lower. There we go. There we go. Wow. Got a little bit shorter. Anyway, more grenades. So you have these guys showing up. Uh... Unfortunately, British guy whose name I already forgot and Navarro are already well on their way to the monastery to get to El Dorado. Meanwhile, 
um, to these uh, guys' nightmare, uh, the zombies are showing up. Ah, uh, okay. So you're you're pretty much it's pretty much a it's. Would you argue it's something of a power struggle? No, because these people are idiots and they think I am the bigger threat. Which I mean, they're not entirely wrong, but they're. So if you so if you counter two people, if you encounter one bad guy with a gun and a zombie, they will shoot at you first before they shoot the zombie. Uh, you know, can I just say I find it kind of hilarious that both Sonic the Hedgehog and Smash Brothers did the whole whole fucking battle of power thing better than Uncharted ever did right now. Yeah. Wait, I so, I know how well, Smash Brothers power, 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 power struggle. I mean, oh, I, oh, yeah, no. I was about to say, I know how, um, I know how Smash did it, but how did Sonic do it again? Yeah, no, Sonic Mania, the Egg, rev egg Reverie. Oh, okay. You mean to tell me that wasn't a power struggle? It was kind of a power no, struggle. No, I just meant, like, I'm not saying it wasn't, I was just trying to remember what instance you were talking about. Right. Well, for the context of the audience, you're basically we fighting against two adversaries faster. while supersonic, and well, both adversaries, well, they're not for your side, but they're not for each other's side either, so... Yeah, they all they all want the Phantom Ruby. Oh gosh, so this whole area I can sort of uh, okay. Actually, I kind of like. There is one checkpoint I get, but this second checkpoint is the real pain in the butt. Which I feel so bad to have to say. I kind of learned the best strategy, and the best strategy is to not even bother trying. I want this one. The best strategy is to not even bother trying to fight anybody. Just run. Just run like a. Just run. With, even though run, I even though I'm like positive you're... the devs. Even though I'm positive the devs intended for the strategy be that you fight every last person. It's but... not worth the effort. Oh, I got a sniper rifle for some reason. By the way. Oh, uh... oh god. No. Yeah. See, look at that. I feel like you guys. There's a zombie like coming someone... for you, dude. I was about to say. Dude. Yeah, wait, is he to the left or... Left. Wait, where is he? I think oh, you know, I see him. Oh, okay. For he, got, he didn't know how to use the oh, stairs. Oh, the AI. Shit. It's a naughty dog. It's a naughty dog game. Well, the AI truly went stupid for a second, like Logan. It's a naughty dog game. Okay, so well, this part here, I realized, you know what? Don't even bother trying to find anybody. Just run. I tried to hide behind cover. I tried to move. I can't figure it out for the life of me. It's better just to run and run, serpentine, roll, and, wow. and pray. And pray. Okay, I get it. I wish I had a better strategy, but that's the only one I got. Man, if only Batman had that kind of dumb luck. And there you go. We win. Okay, by the way. Okay. All the way back to our uh, World War One and Two conversation. World War One was fought against just the Germans, not the Nazis. World War Two was the Nazis and Japan and uh, Sully, are you there? and Italy. Italy a bit with the Axis powers. Sully, come and in. that right. yeah, that is when the Na right. Nazis Heading rose into power. It was World War Two, and they joined forces the with the ground. Japanese for Master and Pearl Harbor was the Japanese. Almost there. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, okay, I, wait, for some not, reason, for wait, some reason I remember mean, the... Wait, Nazis, you mean not, not German soldiers? Not German soldiers. <laughs> I rem uh, I just remember there being some more... Here we go, treasure. A silver Kotemundi. Kotemundi. What it looks is like that? A little, it, it looks like a lizard motorcycle. It looks like a doggy. Oh, the Essex used to ride these babies for miles. You know, <laughs> not... It's in great you know, shape. As, first, as weird as it sounds, like looking at that kind of makes me wish that there was ever some sort of um, baby T cart customization option in uh, New Crash Team Racing. That'd be cute. Just riding on your own baby T like as if you were riding on a Yoshi bike. So are none, so of, these, are none of these guys going to radio their superiors and go... Oh, God, oh, Sully! Sully. What? Oh, I, thought, I thought you were a bad guy. <laughs> anyway, <it's, laughs> Is nobody going to radio their superior and go, by the way, we have zombos. Yeah, you think, not even like, not even like a, I, I wouldn't think this to be like a, let's wait till they're all gone. I think that should be just a, just one sec, just one word, just copy. Zombies! <laughs> copy that. So it seems like we got zombies. Uh, so yeah, um... Do you think what a way can, to end off, huh? Do you think we can make yeah. a deal with them to kill Drake? I don't think uh, that's We're still on the fence about that. We we don't. We're, we're still on the fence about that. We just sent in our representative onto the ground floor. Uh, Charlie, what did they say? Char Charlie says their demands are pretty steep, but we may have to compromise on this one. 
What? Who'd you even send anyway? Asshole, sir. Charlie. Major asshole. The asshole. <laughs> anyway. So, yeah, we're just needing to push a little bit forward. We're just helping. Oh, God. We're just I helping knew. Sully out, and then we'll storm the Gonastery one more time. I knew it. I'm surrounded by assholes. And hopefully, then, that will be enough for us to then hopefully get to Elena, stop the pompous British dude, and save the day. And hope to God this kind of shit never happens again. Because unfortunately, as Nate is now realizing, we're in a situation where we need to get, we need to destroy El Dorado. You know, oh. I feel like in later games, Nate should just go like, I wonder what supernatural curse this place is going to have this time. But, yeah, oh gosh. But yeah, we have to destroy the. We have to destroy El Dorado. We need to get rid of it, similar to the Ark or whatever. Like no one can have this power. We can't cash in on the fortune. Honestly, with, with how with, with how dumb these sniper rifle guys are, like I just think think to myself, they're just pointing at you as if you're you're pointing pointing one of those um ballpoint lights to a cat. <laughs> we got him, sir. He's been distracted. He's been distracted looking at that wall for the last seven minutes. Excellent, boys. He thinks he's catching a fairy, but in fact, it's just a laser. Uh, so, Steve, how are you? How are you? Happy birthday! Oh, That's right. yeah! We're going to this so on Hype's birthday. Happy birthday. I don't know how, but that mm -hmm. statue just and happened. those are going to be very late, depending on when too. Logan uploads this part. No Hyper voice acting is accepting donations. Oh, no. I mean, I wouldn't mind commissions. He would, he would not mind commissions on JSG Entertainment at DeviantArt.com or on his Twitter at HyperVoiceActing. I don't have that anymore. He, he does not have it anymore, but... Oh, yeah. he, does, he, can't, he can't do it on command, but... Give it a few months. He can, give it a few months. He'll accept, accept donations of cups of coffee. At some point. Oh, yeah, you could, you could make a coffee. They're, they're everywhere. I it's, should move. It's, it's, a better alternative than <laughs> it's a better alternative than Patreon these days, I'll give you that much. You're a sitting Drake. I thought I was activating a cutscene that was a little longer than that. I went to get ah, some water. I got, I got it, Matt. Ah. Thank you. Uh, oh, I didn't get it. I'm a dummy today. He's a sitting oh. Drake. Da -da -da. He's a sitting mallard. Oh, gosh. <laughs> hey. There you go. Peekaboo. What would Drake look like if he was in nice. a nice? What, did, what would Drake look like if he was in the fucking Darkwing or Ducktales universe? A dog. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, I, I could, I could see that. No, I. Gosh, actually, stop I was about it. to say, I was about I, to say, if not a duck, then maybe like um, I'm trying to remember. It's a specific breed of dog. It's that same breed of dog that um, it has the pointed up ears. Not a Doberman. No. I think he. Just, I know there's. I was thinking he would just uh, look like, uh... I was thinking... Wait, pointed up ears. You mean a... Uh, wait, pointed up ears. You mean a fuck... You mean a Great Dane? No, not a Great Dane. Like, there... I know there's a character in the reboot that has... That's a dog like that. I just don't remember which character it was. I, was thinking, I always loved how... I was thinking I always he loved would how... just be Launchpad McQuack, minus the jacket and, uh, hat. I always loved how video games worked like this, where, like... Hey, sir, I would like to uh, become a grenade. I would like to become a grenadier in the field. Uh, sure, just uh, wear this uh, Australian hat. But I don't like the hat. Nope, all grenadiers, the uniform strictly calls for the Australian hat. And that's how you can tell a grenadier in these boss fights, is if he has an Australian hat. Like that man once held on the head that did not fracture into thousands right of pieces on impact. <laughs> yep, yeah, it's off, Dundee. I never watched the Crocodile Dundee movie. Are they good? They're actually uh, funny. I like them. I mean, I know, I know the old "This is a knife." Thing. I remember that old like funny yeah. joke. Oh no! That I, I should, I should, I should, I should watch the Dundee movie myself. I should probably take a look at it. I've heard it. Yeah, I, uh, I like that movie. Uh, the quotes, uh, at least the clips in that movie I've seen. Another. Uh, ah! Oh, what a boy! Another movie that I have seen a long time ago that I did enjoy was one called Captain Ron. It's about, it's about this uh, these, this family tries to go on a nice, lovable cruise, but they're, the captain that they end up having pilot their ship is kind of like incompetent, mm. <laughs> and gets them on all manners of like wacky hijinks. I do believe and that. I do believe that stands getting in the oh. way of your shots. 
how is that chandelier surviving bullets to the how? I guess you could say. <laughs> I guess you could say it's taking a stand against you. Uh oh! Oh, God. oh boy! <laughs> I noticed he he threw the grenade, but it hit the pillar and landed right beside you, him. Dude, oh, I think you, I think you inter interrupted his interrupted his shot. The air go. It just didn't make much of a difference. Oh, oh stop! Sully, move. oh, there's one right there. Crap, and they're coming from behind us. Help me, God damn it! Help me! <laughs> Oh, that was, okay, that was Sully. For a minute, I thought that was a guy that you were laying. I thought that was an enemy you were laying walk past you. No, trust me, I already made that mistake once. He has a sniper round in the side for it. Is it possible to accidentally shoot Sully? No, no, I've tried. Well, that's good at least, but still, I can just imagine, imagine like you pull, you accidentally pull your gun, and it's like, kid, put the gun down, you'll, you'll hurt somebody with it. Kid, 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 don't waste your time. I've tried. <laughs> Terrible. Actually, what I had in mind my is that, life like, is a constant. My life, life is a constant pain and torment. And Actually, dead. don't forget what the I was about, What I was about to say is that, like, you try to shoot Sully, but the bullet barely grazes him. Instead, it just lights his cigar. It's like, oh, thanks, I needed a light. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys! I, guys, I just now realized. What? I now know why he can't die. Why? He's trying to shoot him. He's like, can't get. I owe too much money to the Grim Reaper. Oh. <laughs> I owe him too much money. I need to pay him back before he's allowing me to pass on. <laughs> Drake didn't want to get the treasure off. And I mean, yeah, you can't collect, you can't collect money from a dead man, so the Crypt Reaper keeps what? him alive. So I mean, hey, it hey, excuses that whole bullshit of him surviving well, the gun via the book great. in his chest. You just gotta trust me. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to remember. What's the name of... What was the Grim Reaper's name in Conquer again? Greg. 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 Okay, I'm just imagining... You make that joke about, like, going the Grim Reaper money, and I was just imagining, like, Greg, like... I swear he's worse than those devil damn cats. Oh Every god, time. dude! I, you you say that? I just had an idea. Um, cats ha cats have their have their nine lives. Squirrels have tails. Fucking <laughs> he so has stogies as his life insurance. <laughs> All of them. There we go. We found it. There it is. The the golden golden Wait while you see him. Nah, yeah, they'll see him in a second. Dupe. God damn it. You two should realize well, they do know that El Dorado is basically native teams. language for Great Big Rock, now, right? Your weapons. Down there. Is it? I, I'm El making Durado a Rotel Dorado please. reference. Oh, okay. I will kill her. I still need to see that movie. It's it's not a bad movie. Good. I'll say, um... Now, I'll say the time. first... We'll be with yeah, it's funny. Mind. In my opinion, I think the first half of it's really good. The second half... Is fun, but not as not as fun as the first half. Gotcha. Well, let's see this poor bastard's fake. That is only a shell. The real treasure of El Dorado lies inside. Do I look like I'm interested in a metaphor? You can trust me, your lovable kicked around sidekick. Oh, hi there. So some ancient, so some ancient Aztec zombie. That for some reason has a curse. No, oh, I don't him. understand how this. British works. Neil McDonough. No. Oh, I don't know wait, how this works. He know. He knew. Apparently, the Spanish guy knew. Yeah. I wonder why. Oh boy. And there, and he's. And gone. Adios, jefe. So little imagination. <laughs> you know, North basically Africa's... Navarro's been running this whole operation. That thing Why? An entire colony. You don't know what you're doing. Look. Wrong. I'm the only person on this island who knows what the hell he's doing. <laughs> really? Gotta get lost that one. Basically. So how the fuck he's did a... he know about the? Curse? You are so pathetic. Probably looked into it. All of you. Scrambling around for your petty but probably, in the te probably in the textbooks Do you have any idea what this is worth? To the right buyer? Basically, really? he, wants to turn El Dorado he wants to turn El Dorado into a freaking weapon. God damn it. But the protectors are here. So basically, he is a villain oh, no. from Resident Evil game. Who is that? Oh, or less. Oh, or the villain from Atlanta. Oh, Jesus, what are those things? It's the Spanish. In that city. case. They never left. In that case, I'd say double it. They were always here. Wow, you guys suck at your job. Anyway. Oh my God. Hey guys, have some good dips. 
You gotta stop them. I'll cover you from here. If they and get this off the island, little... they'll die in two hits. This part's a little tricky too, so we need to move. Yeah, everyone in the world will die in two hits. Yeah, this part can be a little tricky too, just because they're gonna be swarming all over the place. Ah. Man, he, had, he definitely had a lot of a lot of uh, excuse me, uh, Sir Francis Drake definitely had a lot of mates. Oh uh, yeah, they must they they sail they sailed in style. Oh gosh, moving. Oh, oh gosh, boy. thank you, Sully. I mean, imagine imagine if instead of Sir Francis Drake finding the treasure, it was fucking guys right three wood. Oh no. Wait until wait until you you joke about that, James. Wait wait till later. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Oh, devil, David. You know what I'm referring to. I'm trying to keep it a surprise for James. I'm, I'm, I'm acting like I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, okay. I know. Oh, wait, we did it. I know. Don't worry. We'll keep the secret later. Oh, gosh. Hey, why do I hit your ride? See ya. Shh. Uh, oh, wait, oh, no, no. Don't tell. Uh, don't tell anybody. I'm secretly trying to stow away. I don't know why I was half expecting them to use the thing like a devil damn wrecking ball and hitting one of the buildings. That would have been funny. I mean, that case looks durable enough to where it can knock out a building without putting that much of a dent in it. Hey, you can Gosh. damage the goods! <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, oh crap. This is. Oh, oh, wow. This escalated quickly. Right <laughs> oh, this escalated quickly. Grab the wheel! Grab the wheel! Do planes. Do helicopters have wheels? You know, I can't. You know, I, I understand it's, it's raining now, but at first I couldn't tell if that was all rain or gunshots. <laughs> the, the heavens <laughs> are raining down with lead. <laughs> oh and God. then, and the Lord said, "No, I will not let you do the world with the fucking zombie casket." That's like some gungeon crap. Oh boy. I'll. Uh, yes, yeah, seriously. A literal bullet. So here we go. Last section of the game. I'm a lost time. Uh, almost. Pretty close. Yeah, it's Navarro versus us. Showdown. Oh, I, mean, I mean, Navarro... Uh, Navarro and guests. And guests. Most important. So, so the main thing to know about this sequence is that Navarro is invincible during this bit, and uh, as you notice, he's kind of a weird aim, where, like, when he starts to, when he starts to prep his gun to aim at us, his laser's gonna kind of sweep around, and the second it, like, stops, you need to get the cover or else he will kill you. Gotcha. We have another gun aside from the shotgun. I like shotguns. Fine, I'll get this one. There we go. So, for the, for each section, you just have to take out all of the guys and the will run. And move on to the next arena. Maybe it's just me reaching for compare. Maybe it's just me reaching for comparisons, but the fact that you're basically chasing the guy up different segments, it's basically just a it's basically just a run of the most slight uh, run of the most spiral one boss. Yeah, I guess it is, just you know, with more guns. So it's ratchet and clank insomniac. Yeah. yeah, if it were the opposite opposite um developers. Except there the go. exact opposite. Now that I think about it, with with the whole tone of the tone of this area, I'm almost reminded of um, what was it called? Uh, North Harbor. Huh. Oh, oh yeah. Only, yeah, only, yeah. If it, only if it was a little darker. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I can see that art style here. Oh gosh. Hmm. I remember how much how much how much how much people gave a stake over the Reignite Trilogy just because they replaced those at the, the the actual guns from the original game with fucking with fucking with fucking good guns. I don't Man, remember I remember, the... yeah, I remember the guns had like triangular bullets back in the day. Yeah. I was about to say, I don't remember like people making like a. I remember people pointing it out, but I don't remember people getting in like a big fuss about it. I know some yeah. people that definitely did because they thought it kind of weakened the impact of the uh, Norks. Although I think yes. to myself, honestly, I always felt just using the actual guns from the original game did seem a little out of place. And yes, we will be attacking that trilogy eventually. And all oops, just as soon as everyone's on board, our gun's gone. Oh, you would be dead. Ugh, well, you're definitely gonna be it. deaf. So he's gonna he's gonna start breaking our cover. So this is kind of a puzzle section where the second he reloads, quickly move. If you ever move out of cover when he has not yet reloaded, he will easily gun you down. Hey, dead shot. <laughs> oh boy. Almost. And here we go. Yeah. Punch. Punch. The triangle Punch. and the square combo. 
Dope. Ow. Dope. Oh, and Ow. he comes with a left hook. Oh. That was a great fight here, Hype. Oh, oh, and he slipped. He slipped on the floor. What a pansy. Another kick to the mats. Oh. Oh. Now grab the gun. Maybe just leave it. Almost looked like his arm. Look, it almost looked like the ragdoll on his arm kind of like twisted. Grab the gun. He still has the gun. Those are all my achievements in the upper right. Grab the gun. Come on, up with Adam. Can you stand? There you are. Yeah, didn't get the shotgun from him. Nate. You idiot. You forgot the gun. But then. There's still a little bit of that cord on the ground. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, of course. Uh, this is. That is. This so is gonna be a bad day. What's the fucking home alone skit? Well, I said those things, but yeah, I guess they're both equal. Well, that works too. Oh boy. And thus Navarro and El Dorado were locked away beneath the sea, never to be found again. Hopefully, just deep enough where the pre where the pressure would would be enough to uh, dissuade any asshole. A looky. Oh, there he is. Thumbs up, sailors. Oh, I actually do like this exchange coming up Quite a bit. A yeah, yeah. Save well, the world, hopefully, triumph over evil. <laughs> Pretty typical. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's a shame we're leaving empty-handed, though. Seriously. Oh well. You know, I, I did manage to save one small thing. Really? Oh, the ring. You stole it. Yay! Aww. <laughs> I'm like. Dude, I left that for my dying great great grandfather, and you stole it from his grave. It's more like great, well, to be fair, Drake would do the same thing. Anyway, oh, romantic. I love this exchange. Sully. Wow, you you look like hell. You should see the other guy. I'll <laughs> <laughs> say. Hang on. Well, hopefully, all, all the right fish are right, zombies now. We already have a boat. <laughs> I like this one better. This boat's got gold. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! We got some treasure to go. The pirates who were too dead to care. Fair enough. Well, hey, at least he'll pay off his debt now. Oh, Sully, you murder! He'll pay off his debt to like one person, and then he has about eighteen more. Oh, Sully, you lovable murderous pirate! I wonder who all those other eighteen people are. Sorry, you didn't get your story. Some hookers, probably. Maybe some people he did for a show. Disney. <laughs> Very there's much this, Disney. There's this one guy that for it. There's this one guy that I think he owed some money to Neo someone. I, I think it's a foreign. Uh, uh Neo Neo Cortez. That might be. Yeah, so with that said, that was Uncharted One. Drake's fortune. Woo! Just a uh and, and so yeah, as you can see, not very terribly long game. This definitely was again like this was uh, Naughty Dog's big foray into far more cinematic, uh, character-driven, almost like movie-like games, but Borderline with, a, with enough that. action. Yeah, with enough action to them still. Um, and, and as you can already have guessed, this is only one of the remaster trilogy, and I and I do have Uncharted Four. I'm I'll probably you know I'll probably do the rest of the rest of the quadrilogy. I don't is Uncharted is the Uncharted. Uh, uh, was that Uncharted Tales game or that other Uncharted Legends game or something with the two girls? Uh, Lost Journey. Yeah, what, yeah. Is that one any good? That, or... I have actually not played. Whatever. It's a. It's a. Um, kind of pseudo. Yeah, it's a spin-off of the fourth game, and I heard it is really good. But, okay, Lost uh, Legacy okay. is what it's called. Yeah, Lost Legacy. Here, yeah. Here's the thing. I do suggest. Uh, yeah, if you haven't recorded it, do two. Because that is the best. Oh, look, they think it's zombie. I can sucker punch. It is. Yeah, I saw Aww. that. Yeah, I guess they hang. I guess they all hang out of it. Nice. Anyway, two is the best in the series. Oh, I look forward to it. Oh, cool. Steve Blum's in this. I didn't even hear him. And Fred Tataxior. Yep. Ah. Yeah, I, uh, there are a lot of good voice actors. In wow, in fonts101.com, they're my favorite guys. Wait, wait. Steve, Blum, Steve Blum and Fred Tataxior. It's one third of the seven deadly sins from Shazam. Huh. Or two thirds, so, actually, two thirds. So with that, he's not wrong. So with that, Actually, didn't didn't Bloom didn't Bloom voice two of them? Yeah, no, it was uh, Bloom voice two. I think Tatsuya voice voice two, and Darren DePaul I think voice three. I don't know. Okay, so yeah, with that, um, so yeah, so Blue Point did the remastering. I think, didn't Blue Point do the Shadow of the Colossus? Blue they've Point, done most of Blue the, Point they've does, done most of not all their um, remasters. Yeah, Blue okay. Point does a shit ton of remasters, and they're then really Blue good. Blue Point. At it. 
Blue Point, please remaster like Sly Four or Sly Cooper One, and re please remaster Sly Four for, from PS3 to PS4. I would appreciate it. Rem remaster all of the Ratchet and Clank Future series. That'd be nice. I want to do those. And uh, you know, maybe remaster the Apes Game games too. I'd appreciate those it. Too, you know there's what? a lot. And maybe re and maybe re remaster the uh, Silent Hill. Games, considering oh. that first remaster was absolutely Actually, horrendous. Oh, that was that was horrible. Yeah, go ahead. I, I yeah, was about to say it's horrendous. it's funny you mentioned the Ratchet Future trilogy. I was this close to getting a crack in time while I was out getting stuff for my birthday, but I kind of went <laughs> against it at the last second. Oh. No worries. So okay, so heading so heads up. Um, so um, yeah, so my thoughts is I think they did a pretty fun job. The gunplay could have used a bit of work. I'm looking forward to the second game because it seems like they fixed that a lot. They uh, fixed platforming. a lot. Yeah, so I'm so I will say there's definitely a great idea here. This is this being in a world that we before we had the Tomb Raider reboot back when like you know, all the Tomb Raider games were kind of starting to feel a little samey. It felt nice to have not something completely different, but at least a new thing to kind of like you know sink our teeth into and. Seeing them all re seeing them all playable on PS4 is great. Uh, I enjoyed my time with it. Uh, what did you guys think of it? I tried it one. <laughs> Who should we start with? Uh, you guys go hi, first. How about you? Yeah, hi, oh, how right. about you? Uh, okay, I guess I will go first. Um, it looks pretty fun from what I can see. Like, um, I definitely like the characters and just the overall... Sorry if you hear dogs, by the way. Um, no I like the characters. Um, the tone looks pretty fun. I will say, like, you know, it kind of goes without saying that Naughty Dog has kind of gotten a little bit too serious for its britches with, with you know, like The Last of Us and whatever else they plan on doing. I'll always have a bit of respect for Uncharted in the sense of, like, you know, that game can be pretty serious on its own, right? But unlike The Last of Us, Uncharted remembers, still remembers to have some fun with itself, and I do appreciate that much at least. And like I said, a lot of the characters are really, are, are just really charming. Oh, I mean, I more or less share in hype sentiments. My only thing is that watching this whole thing from beginning to finish really does cement the fact that, well, I just, I'm not that big of a fan of how much it it glorifies the uh, gunplay aspect of it. Because mm -hmm. I was co honestly coming into this expecting, well, basically, knock off Tomb Raider. For the most, and to some extent, it is like that, which just. I don't know. I just, like, I just found the gunplay pretty annoying. Annoying it, when I first I, tried it, and it's like to see how, how like how much they use it. It's just yeah. I probably I, I think I, it, this is one of those games I do. I just prefer watching over playing. And yeah, okay, yeah. I will. I love Uncharted. I love the whole series. I love all the Uncharted games, but the first one is the weakest, even compared to Golden Abyss, the uh, Vita. The PSP, the, yeah, the, the PS Vita, Vita game, yeah. The Vita game. The, mm -hmm. the first game is the weakest, in my opinion, because it is a much better game to watch than actually play. But luckily, Fair. the games get much better with, like, the puzzle aspects, and even the shooting gets much, much more refined, thankfully. So, basically, you just say that Uncharted followed a, followed a similar... Um, all the similar thing to the, uh, the Crash Trilogy, where the first one was just, it was good, but needed refinement, and the sequels pretty much gave it that. Yep, yep. pretty much. So, I can't, yeah, so definitely we'll be doing, we'll be tackling the rest of the trilogy in good time. Again, we like to occasionally take a break and stuff in between these, but yeah, we will definitely get to Uncharted 2 eventually. Uh, what was that one called? Uh, something of Thieves, or was Among that? Among Thieves. Uh, yep, Among yeah. Thieves. And Sly Cooper's like, <clears throat> Yeah. So, but with that said, Sam, with that said, thank you all so much for watching. I was Lucky Jack Twenty. I'm just mainstream. Ronnie J. Goddamn Koopa. And I feel like I should make a joke, but I don't really know which character to use for the riffing of said joke, so I'll just end with "Happy Birthday." Hooray. Now, yay! Now we and all now, get to and now. now and now, and now our gift to well. It was going to go to hype, but I think Logan deserves a more a history lesson. <laughs> and now it's now, time for cake. And now, yep, and now let's all get a nice photo of hype with this cake. Gary!